This is step three in the eight video series. This is the fourth video, but the third step of solving the Rubik's Cube 3x3. As you can see on my example cube here, I have the first side completely done, and it matches on the side. That was your first two steps, the cross and the corners. Now in this step, you will be inserting these edge pieces to finish the first two layers. So once you're done with this step, these first two layers will be completely solved, and all you'll have to worry about is the top cross, is the top layer. So now, moving on to my regular sized cube. As you can see here, in each of these spots, none of the pieces are filled in correctly. Even if it matches up here, it may not match up on the other side. So what you're doing is you're continuing to hold your solved side on the bottom. And what you're going to be doing is searching your top layer for an edge piece that goes in one of these four spaces. So right here, I happen to have one already matched up. This is red and blue. Now, red and blue goes between the red and blue centers, because if you look on a solved cube, red and blue right here is only in the solved position when between the blue center and the red center. So, it needs to match up with its correct centers. So, this piece needs to go down to here. Now, in this step, you will learn two algorithms, and they are of equal length of they are of equal length and perform the same thing, except they work from different sides. So, first, what you do is you find your edge piece that you want to go in one of the spots, and you match up the side color with its center. So, if this was blue and this was red, you would match up blue and blue. But in this case, I match up red with red, as I show right here. And what you want to do is perform the following algorithm. This algorithm will move the piece to the left. But, yes, it will move the piece to the left. So what you want to do is you want to do a hold it in front of you like this. So this red becomes your front face and yellow is your top face. You want to do a U prime, moving your piece to right here. L prime, U. That moves your edge back. L, U. Now, my corner and edge are paired up right here. So all you need to do is an F, U, F prime. And now the piece will be in its correct spot. Now you're going to be performing that four times, either with this first algorithm that I, that I d just taught you, or with the other one, which I will show you now. Now you continue to look on your top layer for one more piece. The problem is, all of them have yellow on them, which means that none of them go in these spots. So, since none of these are in their correct spot, I need to take one out before putting it back in the correct spot. So I'm just going to take this one out. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I take out, as long as I take one out. And so to do that, all you do is pretend to put another piece in there, as if this one is supposed to go there. By putting this piece in here, it will take this one out and put it on the top layer. So just perform that same algorithm I just taught you. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U, F, F, U prime, F prime. F prime, yes, sorry. So, now that you've put that piece in here, the piece that was in here, the green-orange, is now on the top layer here. So, you just match up the color on the side orange and orange. So in this case, it's the exact same algorithm as the one I showed first. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. That puts the piece in here. And now, there I should look on the top layer for another piece. There's one right here. Now I match it up with the side color, as you can see here, orange and orange. But this time, the piece goes to the right. It is positioned on the left side, instead of the right, like the other ones were. So I want to perform this algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. That will put the two pieces together, and then insert them into the correct spot. So now you have three solved already. So now you're moving on to the last one. 
the last piece is right here with green on the side so you match up green here and then, since it is on the right side, you perform the algorithm that I showed you first. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And now you have solved the first two layers of your Rubik's Cube 3x3. You have put in all four of these edge pieces. So now you have two complete rings around the cube, if you'd like to call it that, but they are really layers. You've solved the bottom, and the second layer, which is the middle layer. And now, you, now your next step is to solve the top cross, meaning flipping all of the edge pieces to get yellow on top, and create a cross, kind of like the way you did on the bottom. So please click the link in the annotation right there, or on the link in the description, to be taken to the fourth step in solving the Rubik's Cube.